Hello and welcome to a short video showing you the power of the Galileo Display Processor's control client. Now this is a Windows application, so you want to launch the application, type in the IP address of the Galileo, and click Connect. Once you're connected to the Galileo, the control client shows you the sitemap of all your outputs and how they're currently configured. Galileo can control a multitude of outputs and organize them into separate video walls, or in this case a 3x4 video wall, along with four separate outputs that can feed additional displays throughout the control room or across the campus by feeding an encoder. Now on the left side of the Galileo control client, we show you various groups of layouts and inputs and remote clients, shortcuts, all sorts of things that you will use to then drag and drop or route to your video wall. You can see I have several pre-recorded layouts. So if I'd like to drag and drop a layout to my wall, it's as simple as that. Drag and drop to that 3x4 video wall in my sitemap or I can also drag a layout to any one of my other surfaces. For even more control, I can double click onto the wall in this case. And first of all, let's close all the windows. You can see I'm presented with a grid and this aligns to the three x four video wall in our demo room. I can change that grid for even more granularity when I would like to take my inputs and I can drag and drop them to my wall. The input is aligned with that grid area. I can easily drag and drop and move that window anywhere I'd like throughout my entire video wall canvas. The Galileo control client gives you really great abilities to move windows around, to snap them to neighboring windows or to the grid lines. So very quickly, I can select my different devices. I can drag and drop them anywhere on my canvas. I can overlap windows. I can change priority of windows, move them in front of or behind others. And then I can save this as a layout. It tells me that layout has been saved. So now when I go to my Layouts tab, I see a new one called Layout 1 that is available. So if I want to go to Preset 2, I can double click Preset 2. That closes all the windows currently shown on the video wall and loads up the layout saved as Preset 2 with the windows and the sources associated within those windows. If I double click Layout 1, the one I just saved, same thing, all the windows close. And now that Layout 1's windows and source assignments are recalled to the video wall. Let's go back to our sitemap. Now that new layout I saved moments ago is also available for any of my single displays or all of those displays. So the minute you get a new layout, it's available across the board to any of the outputs on the Galileo. There's lots more to Galileo than this short video. So for more information, check out the website and the other videos at rgb.com Galileo.